Good evening. High London Bridge. It's the final show. So Boris will start. Mr Johnson, you're open. And I quote President Trump here, go back and help fix the totally broken and crime-infested places from which they came. Theresa May has called that completely unacceptable. Do you agree with her? Yes, I do. Um, Well, I, I have to say, I think that relations between the, the UK, I've said what I said about the relations between the UK and the US are incredibly important. But uh, when you, if you're the, the leader of a great multiracial, multicultural uh, society, you simply cannot use that kind of language about sending people back to where they came from. I mean, that, that, went, out, that went out decades and decades ago, and thank heavens for that. So uh, it's, it's totally unacceptable. I, I agree. Uh, with the Prime Minister. Was it a racist remark by President Trump? I, I, I've said what I said. I think it was totally unacceptable in a modern, uh, multiracial uh, country uh, which you're trying to lead. I, 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 and I, and I, can't, I simply can't understand uh, how a, a leader of that country could come to say that. Why wouldn't you condemn it as racist then? Well, uh, you know, you can take from what I've said what I think about President Trump's words. Mr. Hunt, was it racist, Mark? Uh, I think that, look, I'm Foreign Secretary. This is the president of the country which happens to be our closest ally. And so it is not going to help the situation to use that kind of language about the president of the United States. I can understand how many people in this country uh, would want politicians like me to use those words and would feel that sentiment. But I will make absolutely clear, I hope I have made, absolutely clear how totally offensive it is to me that people are still saying that kind of thing. I need to go to war with Iran now because I, I need to stop them from uh, making a nuclear arsenal and that is the only way to do it. Would you be with If you say that going to war with Iran now represents a, a sensible option for us in the West, I just don't believe it is. Uh, I think the way forward, uh, I think it's very, very sad to see what's happening, the breakdown, the potential breakdown of the JCPOA, the Iran nuclear deal, uh, but diplomacy must be the best way forward. Uh, the Iranians have a real incentive uh, to engage with the West, to derive economic benefits uh, from the West in return for not developing their nuclear program. Let's get back on the diplomatic path. Thank you, gentlemen. The risk we have is something different, which is an accidental war, because something happens in a very tense and volatile situation. People misunderstand the other one's motives, and so what we are working to do at the moment is to try and de-escalate as many of the tensions as we possibly can, because this is the one part of the world where if things go wrong, they can go wrong in a very big and bad way, and that's why we've absolutely got to be on our watch. Okay. Mr Hunt. And when we are trying to encourage the EU to do a trade deal with us, around half our exports go to the EU, then I think one of the best bits of leverage we have is to be making very good progress in the discussions that we have in a trade deal with the United States. I don't think it's something that we will be able to do incredibly quickly. Trump is a very shrewd and tough negotiator. I watch the, the way the Americans negotiate. They are ruthless. Uh, they will be very, very tough with us. Tom uh, was right when he said they will put tough conditions, uh, whether it's on uh, accepting uh, U.S. agricultural products or, or whatever. That doesn't mean it's impossible to do a great deal. There are ways in which we, there are ways in which we can open up U.S. markets. What is needed now is somebody who can get to the core of the argument, uh, who can see what the real issue is, and that is, I'm afraid, that our EU friends and partners are only too happy to collaborate uh, with elements in uh, the UK government who would like to keep us pretty much locked in to the EU system. So what we need now is somebody who's genuinely willing to take us out of the EU. If we prepare properly. If we, so my question is, if we my prepare properly. Exactly. And we will, we, will, we, will, we will have an election at some stage in 2022. So you will rule out 20, a general election? 20, 2022. Mr. Johnson, you'll rule out a general election before Brexit is delivered? Absolutely. I think, as I've, as I've just said, I think it would be the height of folly. Because I just don't talk about people I love. Because in the end, if you drag them into uh, the public 
debate. They can't answer for themselves. They can't uh, speak for themselves. And, and you, you drag them into subjects and, and, and areas of controversy and discussion that they don't, in my view, necessarily deserve or, or want. So I've had a pretty ruthless uh, rule of, of not commenting on that side of things. We don't even know who you're going to be living in Downing Street with. Can you tell us? Well, you know, again, I don't want to get into any kind of uh, presumptuous, uh, you know, theorising about living in Downing Street at all. I can I, that, ask I think that, that question. Com that comes He'll be living with me. He'll be at number 11 and <laughs> okay. I'll be at number 10. <laughs> Very good. Mr Johnson.